In this demonstration, I will show you how to use ANSYS CFX and Workbench to optimize the geometry of a high-pressure nozzle. At this point, I imported the nozzle's geometry and prepared a suitable enclosure. Then, I parameterized the radius of the barrel, the radius of the exit, and the radii of the entrainment holes. These will be input parameters for the upcoming optimization. The geometry is ready for meshing. I will use face sizing to restrict the element size on the symmetry and wall faces to a maximum size of 1 mm. To do this, simply select the appropriate faces and then enter the desired size. The tip of the nozzle also requires face sizing control. The elements here will be restricted to a maximum size of 0.2 mm. Now I can add some inflation layers. The interior walls of the nozzle and the impact surface will have fluid moving over them, so the inflation boundaries will be set here. Now I can generate the mesh. When I zoom in on the nozzle assembly, we can clearly see the inflation layers. By default, the surface mesh is finer than the interior mesh. I will insert a plane to view the interior mesh and confirm that its quality is sufficient. Now I can close meshing and set up a fluid flow simulation in CFX Pre. I will set the fluid space as a fluid domain containing air as an ideal gas at atmospheric pressure. Since the flow is compressible, I will set the heat transfer model to total energy. Now I can add the appropriate boundary conditions. I will set the inlet face of the nozzle as a mass flow inlet. The total temperature will be 25 degrees Celsius. The impact surface will be set as a smooth wall. Next, I will set the symmetry boundary. The following faces of the enclosure will be set as entrainment openings with relative pressures of zero pascals. The opening pressure option applies a specified value as a total pressure if the flow is entering through the face, and a static pressure value if it is exiting. The zero gradient turbulence option will be used here. The temperature at this boundary will be 25 degrees Celsius. Faces which haven't been assigned to a boundary condition remain in the default boundary which applies a no-slip wall. We can check that it only contains the faces from the nozzle. For convenience, we'll rename this as Nozzle, since it already includes all the nozzle faces. The simulation has been set up. Now I will make some changes to the solver control settings. This simulation needs at least 400 iterations to reach convergence. I will decrease the residual target by a factor of 10. Now I can close CFX Pre and open CFX Solver. In the Run dialog box, I can set the run to parallel and specify the number of partitions. I will use six partitions for the simulation. The simulation can now be submitted to the solver. This concludes part one of this video series. In part two, I will find the nozzle geometry that maximizes its total shear force output.